$2.4 billion. That's how much Georgia is trying to figure out how to spend. It is the final installment from a COVID-19 relief package approved by Congress last year. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy live at the state capitol digging for answers about when and Adam where this money should go. Hi there, Sean. I've been pressing the governor's office today about how these funds will be spent. After all, at the end of the day, the governor has the final say so on how the money will be allocated. In downtown Atlanta, under the gold dome, the governor's office is preparing to receive billions in federal funding for COVID-19 relief. You already have a state budget surplus. Attorney Tom Church said the state already received $2.4 billion from the federal government last year. And now the second installment, totaling $2.4 billion, is on its way, more than two years after the pandemic began. Where is that money going to go? Is it going to go to a rainy day fund? Is it going to go to state agencies? Is it going to go back to the taxpayer? Church said the court system in Georgia received approximately $25 million last winter to address a significant backlog of cases. The governor also announced grants for water and sewer improvements, bonuses for first responders, and refund checks for all Georgians. I know that the Department of Corrections, um, the, the, prison, the prison system here in Georgia, is critically understaffed. So we, we would hope that a state agency like that might be able to get some of this much needed money. But with the governor up for re-election in November, Church believes that taxpayers might just receive another refund check before it's all said and done. And I'm sure that there'll be an incentive to make sure people see some kind of benefit and at the same time maybe benefit someone politically for giving that money out. And a spokesperson inside the governor's office told me they still have $240 million from that first installment to allocate. They hope to have that determined by this summer, and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll learn more about that. Then they will begin work on determining what to do with the next $2.4 billion. Bottom line here, I think we should point out, it's interesting to note that the surplus is helping to offset the gas tax suspension we noticed at the gas pump. Live outside the state capitol, Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News. Adam, thank you.